The southeast has borne the brunt of the gales. Crick Howell cut off over the weekend. Parts of Monmouth underwater today and a big landslide on the heads of the Valleys Road. Our reporter Heath Jeffries is in Monmouth with the latest. Heath. For the third time in four years, the town of Monmouth has been flooded out yet again. But it may not be the end of it. Weathermen predict severe gales, 50 to 60 mile an hour winds to come. With details of today's events across Wales, here's Nick Partridge. The River Wye at Monmouth is tonight perilously close to overflowing its banks. Parts of the town are already flooded by stormwater, and dozens of residents from this caravan park have moved out to stay with friends and relatives elsewhere. Last night, some refused to leave, but today, as the water levels kept rising, more agreed to move. Past flood prevention schemes have saved the town from catastrophe, but this is the second winter running some homes and businesses have been flooded. Something's got to be done. It's not looking very good. Something's really got to be done. So libraries, three months out of work last time, shut the pub, tens of thousands of pounds of refurbishment done, and here we are in the same situation again. The Environment Agency say they learn lessons from flooding and will consider further protection for Monmouth in future, but local politicians want immediate action. The Welsh Assembly clearly, on, and the government generally, can't stop these sort of floods, but we can be doing things. We can be stopping uh, rampant development of green field areas and, and the areas which soak up the water that lead into the rivers. The storms have also led to disruption on the roads. This landslip on the heads of the Valleys Road at Clidock will take several more days to clear. 18 families were evacuated here as a precaution, but most have now returned. Oh, it is quite a major undertaking. We're looking at sort of 2,000 tonnes of debris that have blocked the roads. Well, the whole gorge is of glacial material, so that, you know, it does have that sort of instability when you get very heavy rain over very long periods. The town of Krakowl was beginning to clean up today after being cut off for much of the weekend. Again, homes and businesses were inundated as the River Usk rose yards above its normal level. The problem is, as we see it, is the weather is deteriorating and obviously this could result in the river levels rising and the water courses bursting banks. There's been more heavy rain today and there's more forecast in the days ahead. So the threat of flooding remains a real risk for many people. Nick Partridge, HTV News. Well, the situation here in Monmouth is that there's no real sign of the water levels abating tonight. They did go down slightly earlier on, but uh, with the torrential rain of the last 24 to 48 hours, it's only a matter of days before the river begins to swell again. Now, it's at the confluence of two rivers, the Mono and the Wye. That's causing a big problem, and it's also quite low on the floodplain as well. Now, the town's MP joins me now. Hugh Edwards, that must be a real major cause of concern here in Monmouth. I think it's devastating for the people who have been affected here because they went through all this just about 14 months ago. Of course, the major cause of all this has been the excessive amount of rain that we've had in the last few days uh, and the incapacity of the rivers to, to drain it. Uh, there is a concern about development in this area. When you talk to the local people, they are concerned there's been excessive new housing development and that has affected the problem. Yeah, this, this, this issue about the floodplain, of the water being squeezed off, off, you know, off the plain and basically just um, gushing out further downstream. Well, I think what people around here are saying is that what's happened as a result of the developments, local developments, is that the, the floods have changed. It was happening in one road earlier on. That has been drained better now, but we're getting it further up here in what unfortunately is called Drybridge Street. What, um, what basically is, is your view of what should be done to sort of solve this situation? Who, who's going to carry the can for this? I think I've been in discussions with the Environment Agency and the local council about this for the last few years. Um, there's a fundamental problem to do with, I think, our inability to invest adequately in the light of the effects of our climatic change. Uh, global warming may well be the cause of this, and I think as a society and as a nation, and in Wales especially, we've got to recognise that and put the investment in to alleviate the flooding in the future. Mr Edwards, thank you very much indeed. As I say, more gales predicted in the next 24 hours. Now, back to you in the studio. Keith Jeffries in Monmouth, thanks very much indeed. And if you fear that your home may be at risk from flooding, contact the Environment Agency's helpline. The number is on the screen now. They can give you advice. Well, we've been here. This is the inappropriately named Dry Bridge Street, very close to Monmouth Town Centre. What you're seeing here are the waters of the River Mono and the uh, River Wye. The Mono has got nowhere to go. It's been backed up by floodwaters coming off the hills above us here. 
things have been getting progressively worse. Uh, a lot of these houses now, people batten down for the night, the sandbags are there, but not having a great deal of effect. And this pub here is a very good example. Sam Fletcher, the landlord, has done what he can, because sandbags down here at the gate, we've got a, a floodgate that he's got on approval, but frankly, as you can see, it hasn't done much good. When we arrived, uh, he and his helpers were trying to mop the water out. Frankly, they've given up, the pumps are off and uh, they're just waiting to see how bad it's going to get. And Sam, you had all this last year. How much did you have to patch it all up last time? Well, we were shut for three months last time. It was real bad. And we, the water this year is, is a lot worse. And, I, I, you know, like I say, it's because it's probably in the region of about £40,000 last year to refit the whole complete pub. It must be so depressing to see all this again. Oh, yes, definitely. It's, um, like I say, it's devastating. It's not just depressing, it's devastating. And here we are, we've been here for the last 48 hours, trying again to sort of keep the water out, and it's just impossible. Now, you, 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 are there any flood defences here at all? I presume you asked for some last time around. Yes, um, we, the, there is a flood alleviation scheme, that's uh, actually, because the mono is at the back of us here, and the wall there sort of keeps the mono from actually coming, you know, coming into the town. But this, again, coming off the mountains and what have you, I mean, uh, what, what they can do, I don't know. I mean, we have asked, we've petitioned, we've had people going round, checking, the AM the AA members have been involved, the, the MP has been involved, and so hoping. Okay. Okay. Nothing at all. Sam, thanks very much. A miserable night ahead of uh, Sam, his family, and a lot of other people here. Fiona. Robert, thanks very much. Well, Darren Bett is here with the weather. Darren, I think we already know what you're going to say. <laughs> you do, really, don't you? It's not looking good. There's more wet weather to come.